Welcome back once again to 20 Years of Doom. Today we're playing games by a special company called Capstone. Uh, they, they're notable for making such games as Operation Body Count and uh, William Shatner's Tech War. The latter of which I've heard of. This one I've never heard of and I've never heard of Capstone. And wow, you can see the squares on those bullet decals. That's pretty great. Yeah. So, um, this game offends every sensibility I've ever had. It's the worst. Whoa. This That bad? Maybe I'm overselling it, but it's pretty bad. I'm not really quite sure what to even begin thinking about this game, since this is a pretty generic dude bro army shooter from the looks of it, but, uh... So, the story of this game is, um... Oh yeah, uh, first off, I have bad frame rate because I have to up the CPU cycles on DOSBox a lot. Check that out. Oh, God. Oh, That's... okay, this is already <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah, but yeah, just ev the music, the... What? The oh yeah, the first enemy. It's a, it's a rat. Mm, that's a big rat. Yeah. I don't like big rats. Well, I mean, if you've seen Disney Pixar's uh, Ratatouille... That's, that's different. Those are cooking rats. I guess. These are war rats. Well, that's just your These opinion. are wild rats. So the story behind this game is uh, something... Someone named Victor, Victor has taken over a UN building, not specified. Um, and we gotta infiltrate it. Right now we're in the sewers. That's pretty much it. Oh. But what is with the ceiling? Yeah, and the that's floor. yeah. So they tried oh to God. get they tried to get like texture map floors and ceilings, but their uh, algorithm didn't quite work right. I think, or maybe it's working exactly as intended. Basically, oh. as it looks uh, to me, at least, um, each tile of the world you can run around in has like its own weird parallaxed ceiling tile, which is weird. It's very not good. So, see, here's the problem I have with this. They tried to get an algorithm for this to work, yet weren't there already floors and ceilings in Wolfenstein 3D? No, those were just flat colors. Oh, they tried to actually get it textured. Yeah, it's the adding of the textures. I mean, the, John Carmack got it to work in a, in a shadow caster, so... Yeah, we saw that clearly. Yeah. But... Oh, man. So, yeah. The Capstone bought a license for this engine. And this, this is the fruits of their labor. Uh... Look, I don't want to worry you, but uh, I think this fruit might either be rotten or infested with uh, bugs. Are you saying this is bad apple? Uh, never, you know... Never judge a banana just... by its peel. Oh, that's the exit. It's a ladder. Oh. Well, a actually, you're, you're, it's exactly how you're supposed to judge a God, banana. God, listen to that music. It's just awful. It's the worst thing I've ever heard. What? Music? I thought that this was just like ambient growling noises no. and background. So, I'm just gonna Ugh. skip towards the end of this level. I, I get pretty far in this game because uh, I, I unknowingly selected the easiest difficulty. Also, the exit's behind oh, a secret, God. of course. <sighs> And for some reason, oh. on some levels, they won't let you exit because the, it'll say, quote, there's more work to be done or something like that. I think you have to get, like, a high enough kill count, which is on the bottom right. It just went up to oh, one when I killed God. that rat. <sighs> yeah. All right, so I get it. We're exterminators. Yeah. Rats are terrorists. Uh, yep. We're, we're the exterminators. Yep, that's, that's it. All right. We can, we can go home now. That's... Uh, so, there's 40 levels of this game. Can you believe that? 40? 40. 40. They, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And uh, allegedly, you get out of the sewers, but, I mean, I got five levels in without reaching a non-sewer level, so... Uh, God. Do they, this... do they have, like, a new area every 10 levels, then? Like, I, good God, man. I would guess so, yeah. 
Um, That's way too far to play in this environment, though. Any more than one is too much. Apparently, this uh, this game had some unique features, such as I think it had some kind of networked multiplayer, and also I think there are bullet hole decals when you fire a weapon at a wall. God, when I recorded this game, I'm. I was already feeling, oh. like, sick, and just, like, the combination of the gross, dark colors and the scrolling ceilings and the awful, horrible, f droning music just made me want to puke. Well, I noticed you've got, like, a bit of a blood splatter on your HUD oh, now. Yeah, that's a wonderful feature. That won't go away until the end of the level. Oh, good. So if you kill too many enemies... Like a point blank, I guess, or maybe if you just start killing enough enemies, I'm not actually your sure. Your screen starts to get bloody. I'm not actually sure what causes that, um, but yeah, it's either from killing enemies or being hurt. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, you were at full health and you haven't picked up any recent med kits, so uh, I would say it's from killing enemies either in numbers or via proximity. I, but oh, I think that yeah, the, that could be. I I think that. Proximity. I don't know. Something about that seems like it'd be more difficult to do. So maybe just the number of enemies you kill. Maybe. But there's a reason I'm not skipping this hole, and it's because there's a new enemy in it that we haven't yet encountered. Oh, good. Oh, God. This game makes me so sad. Yeah, it makes, I... makes me feel oh. physically ill. I'm actually starting to get a little burpy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not actually feeling ill, but I think that I'm being, like, subconsciously hypnotized into feeling sick to my stomach. Yeah, it's called the placebo effect. Yeah, something like that. Good grief. Hope we find that it's new monster soon. Oh, God. I hope we find that new monster soon, though. That'd be great. Yeah. So, uh, what's with the thing in the bottom left next to your Uzi icon on your HUD? Do you know? Uh... That flashing yeah, light. Yeah, I, I actually forgot to bring that up. I have no idea what that is. I think oh, it, it might have to mm. do... Maybe it's like an aliens-type motion detector thing. I don't even know. Maybe it's a secret finder, because it seems to flash oh. when you're rubbing up against miscellaneous walls. I don't know. Maybe. I'd have to read the oh. manual to find out, but forget that business. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Oh, my God. New textures. Oh, yeah, check that out. It's still... We're still in a sewer, though. Still as awful and dingy as before, though. God. I'm so sad I had to play this twice. The first recording of this got scrapped. Oh, God. That... Oh, uh, well. God. I mean, I, I'm i not even really sure what to say to that. And now oh, we're God. just full up... Yep, we're in the in, raw sewage. Uh. All right. We're in Moss Land yeah. attraction. Moss Land, we're uh, amusement park. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, oh, did you hear that? Oh, what's this? What the? Oh my. It's like a moss monster. It's like a swamp thing, I guess. Oh, yeah. You, All right. You can't shoot him when he's a puddle, if you couldn't guess. Okay. Oh. You get 7.0 yeah. on the grossitude. That's that's pretty fair. I mean, he's got a pretty gross-looking sprite. Yep, and he gets three stars because you can't shoot him when he's a puddle. Yeah, that's uh, annoying. Yep. Oh, God. That blood stain is just... Every time, it's just right there staring. Yeah, it it's not even... You know, if it was like, look at your crosshair, it's this blood stain. That'd be kind of okay, but... Like, oh, minimal God. okay. Like, bare... Minimal. The bare minimum qualifications of okay also you have this auto map that sucks because it only shows you a square of the level at the time but i'm done with this level oh god every time a new Ooh. music track starts i swear Ugh. good grief they they have such great names too like music four and music two yeah it's like oh yeah so joe abadi the uh composer is also a programmer, so this music is technically programmed hard. Uh, good. I would, <laughs> I wouldn't really like to think that somebody would be talented enough to make music and then make this and go, yeah, that's good. Yep, ship it. Oh, I got oh, slime. That's gonna be there oh. for the entire level. Oh, what? Yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> oh. 
Um, so this level had like a generator switch you could turn off. That's why this level is brighter. You can turn the lights off and make it uh, dark like the other levels. But I opted to keep them on. That's probably for the better. I mean, it's not going to look any better or worse regardless, but at least you can see. Yep. Oh god. Man. It's not a good game. Yeah. I mean, I'd say so far the most fascinating aspect of this game is that your auto map kind of looks like you're peeking all over some circuitry on a chip or something, and that's about the most interesting part of this game. I guess. Like, barely. That's barely yeah. interesting. Yep. And then, I don't know, the HUD is alright. Like, the, the actual status bar for your health, ammo, and armor. I mean... Eh, I don't like it. That. It's not... It doesn't fit the game. That's the problem. If this were in, like, any other game, or maybe, I don't know, like an arcade uh, light gun game, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe, I guess. Or, or hell, even like a point-and-click adventure game or something, but not this. Yeah. Good grief. It, Again. Yeah. Best grief. Again. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Alright, so I'm just kind of wandering around because the map's not really helpful to me. Isn't that fun? Yeah. There's just these big, uh, long hallways going through the entire level for yep. whatever reason. I mean, at least you're fast. I mean, kind of. Also, the... Oh, wait. So, oh, oh, God. God. Oh, what? Oh. God. What Why? is that? I don't... I can't. <laughs> it's upsetting. <laughs> yep. He gets three no stars just on his sprite this. alone. <laughs> yeah, you you have to look at that while you shoot it. Yeah. You can't close your eyes. Check out its death trigger. animation. Oh, gross! <laughs> That's even worse. Oh God! He just like pukes out a solid cylinder of blood that he happened to have in his throat or something. Yep. It's gross. So that's a regular enemy in this game. Great. Oh, good. Also, something just made a horrible noise and I don't even know what it was. Oh, I, I, also I'm done with that level. Forget that. Good. Ah, Music 5, a classic. classic. Yep. Man, I remember the first time I heard Music 5. Oh, God. Ugh. So, that guy's dead. Let's, uh, let's try and beat this level. Oh, we got killed by a rat. Oh, well. Okay. Well, darn. Dang it. Takes you, uh... Gosh. <laughs> takes you back to the menu screen. What? J that's it? Yep. Just... That's game no. over. No, no saves? No... There are saves, oh. but I didn't okay. use any. Yeah, let's go back to DOS. Yep, <laughs> DOS is much Screw better that. than this. Also, they have this weird credits screen. Uh, that's that one looked pretty cool, I guess. And that's the end so, text. BC done. That's be, that's oh. just the text it displays when the program exits. Yep. Body count done. That's it. Yep. So now we got to change directory, but that's the wrong directory. Man, I wish uh, I'd remember what I named my directories. It's Core Seven. Core Seven. All right. And then I got to be sure of the exe name. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. So All right. this is oh. uh, Corridor 7, another game by Capstone. It's much less awful, I guess, but it's not great. Yet, <laughs> yet these visuals are much more awful already. Yeah, I'm not, Gosh. I'm not sure which one came first. I think this one might have, just because it doesn't have textures on the floor and ceiling, but I don't know. Uh, this is some great plot we're getting here. Yeah, the alien came in, there were confidential papers we're not allowed to see, and a box of cigarettes. And somebody was on Mars or something. Man. And he was also from America. This might be Doom 3, actually. Oh, man. Way ahead of its time. Wow. It's, uh, it is, it is Doom 3 and also the prequel to Killer7. Wow, man. Yeah. Capstone Games. What happened to them? Portions of this know. program by id Software. Wow. Thanks, Capstone. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Pinnacle of Entertainment Software. <laughs> 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 yep, you got that one right, <laughs> at least for a moment. <laughs> wow, what was that face? <laughs> Goodness gracious. So this game has aliens instead of 
gross. Those things might have well as been aliens, really. Let's be honest. I guess so. So, this is the first level. Uh, pressing the enter key cycles through, like, night vision and infrared, which I don't know if those are helpful at all. Okay. Also, you got these uh, electric gates you can turn off, but they'll electrocute you if you don't hit them in the right spot, which is dumb. Okay, And yeah. instead of key cards, you got to go up to these panels and get special access. Um, yeah, right, that makes mildly more sense. And that's an eyeball! Yeah, welcome. It's... Oh. Yeah, it's an eyeball with guns. What, what, what else? Okay, well, I mean, huh. It's whatever. Y you know, I can, I can at least say I've never seen anything like it before. Corridor 7! Aliens! Yeah. Ugh. Oh, they do have a pretty gross, good uh, death animation, though, I think. Also, yeah. you have these uh, medkit storage things, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're, you, you are popping an eyeball with a machine gun, so... Yeah. It's like the little Cyclops guys from Shadowcaster. Yeah. Oh, man, All they right. have animated textures in this. Whoa, revolutionary. Whoa, hey, I hadn't even noticed that yeah. just because it's so normal these days, I, but I, wow. I, now I'm not even sure recto retroactively if the other ones we had did the animated textures. Uh, oh, actually, Shadowcaster did have animated textures. Yeah. yeah you were close, Capstone, but not close enough. Mm. This does oh, have uh, diminished lighting, though. Look at that. Yeah. Or maybe not. No, oh, it doesn't really look like it. I mean, it it's, it seems to on the floor and ceiling, but that's it. Yeah, well, uh, well it's very it, faint. On, it's okay. It does. It's diminished lighting at a low level. Yeah. It, yep. Nailed it. Yep. And you can see when you fire the gun, uh, it does light up a bit in the background where the diminished lighting is occurring, but only very faintly. Thanks, John Carmack. Mm-hmm. All right, so to beat each level, you got to kill every enemy on the floor, which kind of sucks. Ugh. Look, we get it. Capstone games, you like killing, but you don't force genocide upon your players. Also, you have these, like, uh, System Shock-esque uh, health pods. Oh, okay. The biopods. Right, let's get out of here. Whatever they were called, I don't remember. Whatever. Yeah. Also, I like that the secrets are called restricted areas. That's 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 one good thing. That's one yeah. point. Yeah. All right. I like that. Can't go back oh, down God. though. Hmm. Talks at you. Because uh, the floor is not secured. So I wonder if you could go back down if you killed every enemy. Uh, I wouldn't think so, but I don't know hmm. for sure. I don't know why you would. Maybe it's the same concept as uh, Lake Stone. Maybe, but... but I really don't feel like it would. Yeah. Also, I have another gun that sucks, so I'm sticking with this. Hmm. What's the other gun? Uh, it's like a slow-firing pistol thing. I don't know. Oh, gross. What's this yeah. gun? Tell me that. Uh, it's a tube with iron sights and a trigger. Wow. And it shoots bullets pretty quickly. I don't know. And then, uh, oh, thanks, Eyeball Man. I was going to ask you I, what those spirally things are, but who cares? Spirally things? Oh. Oh, I'm at a Wow, you weren't kidding. Well, guess this is how I'm going to do it now. I'm sure... All right, well, yeah, set set phasers to kill, I'm sure, I guess. <laughs> yeah, one of these uh, uh, obscure textures is like an ammo dispenser, but just don't ask me which one it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Oh no, we're turned into oh, no. a chrome skeleton, man. We've been we've become dead. Yeah, we have become death. Well, yep. <laughs> That's as far as I ever got. And it you still had the highest score on the board. Yep. Oh, this one has an exit splash screen too. Hmm. Don't know what it's supposed to mean. Maybe that's the final boss, who knows. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of okay with exit splash screens. They're neat. Yeah, but it's kind of taking forever to get back to DOS. Yeah, I I mean that you should be able to click out of them, not just timed. Maybe I, well, it wasn't timed and I just didn't click out of it. Who knows? Oh, who knows? There we go. Oh, well, I, all right. So also it changes your text to this weird yellowish color. 
Oh, that's uh, gross. Yeah. You can, uh, if you clear the screen, it'll go back to white, though. Oh, okay. So that's two more deaths. Eh. Never going to play those games again. Yeah, you, you shouldn't. It sounds like it's actually like legitimately really bad for your health. <laughs> I would recommend against it. Four out of five doctors recommend not playing uh, Operation Body <laughs> Count. Uh, only three out of five recommend not playing uh, Corridor 7, though. Yep. Good grief. Good grief.